Hey, no offense, but you ain't caravan folk. Beat it. You're watching Suck Professor. Um, well, you guys just saw what happened. You ever, you all saw that, that guy. Yeah, he's walking away. God, what is he? What a, that's so rude. Is he right? Am I, is it true? I mean, that, am I ain't caravan folk? Well, fuck that guy. Is this him? I don't actually know who it Look, was. I'm trying to relax. Been on the road a long time. Oh, sorry. You must not be the same guy. I recommend sitting down. It's my favorite way to relax. All right, Welcome so, back. um... Looking to trade? Lady, I'm talking to my listeners. Would you fuck off? Uh, I'm not looking to buy right now. Don't need anything today. Come back later. My stock's <laughs> always changing. Oh, God, look at her skin. She is a ferocious monster. She's part ghoul, it looks like to me. But, all right, so as I was saying... See one of our caravans on the road? I think that's the it asshole that talked to me. Every time. Everybody in here is talking to me. Okay, so dog meat's the only one that's taking it easy. Um, I, uh, th what is this called? Bunker Hill? Some shit like that? Yes, Bunker Hill. Now, I picked up a bunch of missions. Um, I've got a couple of things here. I'm really close to Bobby in the Fenuil Hall. I've also got this training yard, which is, uh, I've been, it's been requested that I clear it out. And to look for this guy, Brent Savoldi. There's also a mission to well there's a marker there for some reason I'm also looking to go talk to uh, check out Oberlin station although I don't have that active on the map right now and investigate vault vault 81 um ah here we go Brent Savaldi oh that's way the hell up north uh, there's a couple others that I saw in here too let's just find them here data quests recover oh that is all of them actually all right so Kind of want to go do these bait. Oh yeah, the special delivery. Talk to Jack Cabot. I think that guy. I don't know. I think he's in Diamond City. Turn it on. There it goes. Map. Where would he be? Oh, he's real close. Okay, so maybe we'll do that one on our way. I uh, I think I should still f work on getting to Bobby and to what you call it, um, the Fender Wheel. That's probably going to be tough anyway. Killing off, you know, looking for some laser that I read about in a note. I guess that's what it's going to be like. You know, there's not going to be iPads and and uh, tricorders sitting around everywhere like we have today. Um, all right, dog meat. Hey, let's fucking go. Come on. Um, ah, you know what? Take one last hot look at that hunky muffin right there. That was above the belly button shorts. Wearing my leather armor, no chest piece. The pompadour is gone. I'm gonna go right back to my real self, which is a uh, a shameful bald. I've been a shameful bald quite a long time in my life, and it's no different here in the Fallout universe. There it is. There yeah, there I am. <laughs> Bald guys look cool from the front. Uh, not so cool from the side, but still working it, especially with a nice tricep like this good, good shoulder. But from behind, oh boy, that is all pedophile right there. Ugh, gross. Male pattern. Good God. If I was a seagull, this is what this is. This would be just like a prime fucking target. Okay, let's get dressed up and let's get the hell out of here. Champion left arm. I gotta put in my suit. Oh, not the lab coat. Oh, that took off all my stuff. Fuck. Army helmet. Leather left leg studded. Leather right arm pocket. Uh, right leg. And pocketed shadowed leather chest piece. What's on the right arm there? Why is it? Wow, that's really shitty. Uh, but it's pocketed. 285. All right, I'm excited to try out my new gun. I've got this bad boy right here. It's combat shotgun. Oh, I, by the way, check out the texture. You might not recognize it. I'm gonna cover this in one of my 
mod showcase videos for TGN. This, this is the combat shotgun. The texture is, you can tell it's different. Maybe it didn't look that closely before, but it is definitely an improvement over what was uh, what the vanilla game offers. The vanilla game looks good too, you know? It's kind of like the difference between, you know, Sorority A or Sorority Hot T. <laughs> I'll take them both. I love them both. I love them all. Uh, back to first person here. Uh-oh. Dog meat's barking. That's never a good sign. He usually... Whoa. Oh, we got dudes. Oh, this ship was in the trailer. Fuck, I just drank something. Where the hell's my sniper rifle? There it is. Robots. We have a pirate ship being operated by levitating robots. There's, looks like that's one of those guard things, too. I am not going to fuck with those guys. They might even be friendly. Was dog me barking at this thing? Hey. Come over here. Ah, this is the, uh, the bridge I have to cross. Yeah, we spotted those people from the tower. That's where I was. Fell out of one of those windows. It was a tragedy of temporary proportions. Okay, let's keep pushing here, guys. Don't forget to like these videos and subscribe if you enjoy watching. It helps us out. It helps other people discover our channel. And I think these fuckers are all going to wake up in about a second here. Just going to save it. Nope. Wow. Ah, see? He was just having a great dream, too. Boom. Boom. You know what they say? They say one in the head and two in the pink. And then three in the stink. And then you should let dog meat lick his balls. Repeat after me. One in the head, and then two in the pink, and then three in the stink, and then let dog meat lick his balls. That's what they say. They, uh, it's uh, actually text, direct quote from the uh, original constitution. And if that upsets you, it's because you don't love your country, assuming you're an American. Or any other kind. I like these plastic pumpkins. That kind of Oh, God, abandoned house. Gee, the one that had a feral ghoul sleeping, and it's called, and, and it's a Halloween house. <laughs> God, scary this is shit is, man. Uh, just asking for Ghoul City in there. They're in there having a fun little monster mash. Except without the mash, because it's only ghouls. As far as I can tell, those are the most racist bitches of this side of uh, uh, racist land. Alright. Hopefully these people don't want to fight me. They're probably going to warn me off. They don't go there. Yeah, I'll go check out that haunted house uh, in a later time. It's too distracting. Hi. Should I put on my charisma gear? No you funny like business. you could use a little pick-me-up. Hey, baby. Am I right? Oh, yeah. I love pick-me-up. You talking about pick-up sticks? Hold on. She wants to, she wants to talk, do you? I have the exact... Answer to that. Here we go. <laughs> Roll. Roll the uh, what? Uh, what music that you would roll for this type of thing? Fuck. Where's charisma? Black. Oh, I had a mile already. All right. Boom. Now let's talk. I'm ready to negotiate. Now that I'm wearing my power suit. Who are you? Who are you? I'm Stash. <laughs> Your friendly traveling chems dealer. Oh, you're a drug don't dealer. mind the crew. They're just overprotective. Oh, she's got her own her own posse here. Two people. Two people. That's a pretty small. Maybe crew. you want to hire yeah. me. There's Simon, loyal employee and customer, and his sister, Lexa. She's more disgruntled. Wants her brother off the chems. Oh, they're but all druggies. Let's get down to some business. Hell yeah. How about you take off your body and show me that, I mean, the, your clothes and show me 
That mannequin bot. You, oh, what the fuck's bot? Okay. <laughs> the thing come. Uh, that cow is just off on a run. Looks like he's playing Katamari Damacy over there. What are you selling there, bitch? Depends on what you're selling. Whatever you need to put that extra oomph in your day. Oh, there's one thing that's missing from my life. It's oomph. Let's see what you got. Exactly what you need. Great dialogue. Oh, she's real tempting, huh? I always trust people that... Oh, wait, why am I buying... Don't need that shit. Cancel. Um, lady, you don't got shit that I need. I should just shoot you in the face and take all of it. Exit. Look at you, fella. Hey, if get, you're not here for the good stuff, get lost. Why don't you get lost? <clears throat> I'm watching you. Oh yeah, I'm watching you too. Don't be sassy. Oh, look, doctor. What do you get? What are you guys doing out here? We work for Stash. Wherever she goes, we go. Hmm. Hi. Hi. Uh, don't try anything. Well, I've tried lots of things. Um. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not going to try anything. Oh, sure. That's what they all say before pulling a gun. Yes? I've already pulled my gun. Hi. I'm holding it. Back off. Oh, are they going to fight? It'd be great. It'd just be a fun fight. Quit being so paranoid. Hey, this paranoia is what keeps us alive. I've had a paranoia before. It was two, two noias. <laughs> all right. Hey, baby. Cricket. Hello, weapons and messy death. I got it all. I'll take four messy death, please. Are you not hey. going to talk to me? So many guns and so little time. You just got to buy them. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing to you. What kind of stuff do you have? If it can chamber cock and spit out lead, then I sell it. I sell slashers and clobberers too for those maniacs that like it up close. Well, my uh, death flying faster than the speed of sound. Oh, my knees are getting weak just from thinking about She's it. She's all whacked out with the eye makeup. My cock chamber shoots more than lead, lady. Uh, yeah, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. And there they are. Did your heart skip a beat too? No, but it just murmured. Okay, she's got a lot of shit. Braced, painted, metal left arm. Let me see what I got. Oh, yeah, I got a great left arm. I don't need this shit. That's like my only good possession. Cage armor. What on earth is cage armor? Ah, it's armor you keep in a cage. Must be made out of ferrets. Compensated calibrated pipe bolt, compensated hardened piercing sub. Oh, uh, submachine gun. That'd be fun. Cryo cell. Is that 18 per each one? Will explode of. Will explode if disposed of in fire. Cushion studded leather left leg. Six eleven. Uh. Pardon me. I apologize. It's rude to burp into someone's ears. Um, leather left leg. Six eleven. I already got something that's that good. Man, these are expensive. Okay, fusion cell, fusion core. A bunch of those. Gas mask. I have an assault gas mask. Glow sighted light hunting rifle. Light weight studded. Marksman's calibrated. Wow, look at this thing. 23. It's not that good, though. Missile launcher. Powerful. What's up this? Is that anti aliasing that's not turned on or something? Because that's looking pretty shit right there. Um, okay. Pocketed painted metal chess piece. 14 and 7. This might actually be something I might be interested in. I like making purchases because it feels like these people, these things are are actually part of the world in a way that's useful. And I forgot to put it on my other chess piece. Pocketed shadow. 9 and 17. She's got 14 and 7. I don't know. That's a decent, that's a decent difference. I'm not sure how much elec electrical resistance I need, you know? I'm not fighting. There I am saying you know again, you know? Uh, railway spike. 
slow. Okay. Uh, tab. I almost said something terrible. All right. I'm going to buy this. Buy. Oh, whoa. Serrated Chinese officer's sword. Holy shit. Serrated combat knife. Fuck. All right. These are, this is a tough choice here because I, uh, Shipment of gears, shipment of spring, shock baton, short combat shotgun. Oh man, I want this too. Oh, fuck. It's just like keeps getting better the farther down I go. Excited, excited. Spray and pray. Bullets explode on impact. Oh, fuck. I can almost afford it. That would be all my money. And I just got the combat rifle. Dude, this looks cool. Is that something I can... I mean, what else am I going to spend my money on? Heavy pipe. Oh, super sledge. She's got everything. This chick is really loaded up. 67 damage. I'm not really big on the slow attacks. Walking cane. <laughs> Oh, man. I want this. So if I returned. But then I'm not using the other gun I have. I don't know if I need this. It sounds great, though. I think I'm going to find better stuff. As much as I do want that. I'm kind of intrigued by these two here. Okay, so serrated knife. Wow. Looks like a giant bread knife. Okay, 47 at medium and 25 fast. The knife I have is fifteen fast. So it's uh, substantially it's ten more. Forty seven. I'm buying the knife. As cool as the sword, I think I can get a lot. I can I can get a lot of damage in. If you're gonna get close enough to hit him with a medium sword, you can hit him with a knife. And if you might as, if you can hit two knife hits, you're 50. And this guy's 45. I don't know if that makes any sense. Plus, it weighs a lot less, and it's less expensive. So, buy. Let's see what I can sell. I can sell a knife. <laughs> sell that and. Sell that. Probably have some other stuff I could probably sell too. No, oh, I'm not selling that yet. Hmm. What am I buying again? Wait, cricket. Oh, that's your whole thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. I want the combat shotgun. That sounds great, too. Um, mm hmm. I'm going to hold off. Although, I do need ammo for... No, no, no. Weapons. Okay. I just want to make sure I buy the right kind. The righteous authority. So I need a cell for that. Okay. Is that this fusion cell? Fuck. So expensive, man. Five. Buy. I'll buy 200 worth. Probably getting ripped. I don't know. Whatever. Let's do it anyway. All right. So, uh, yeah, I'm buying a metal chest piece, right? Chest piece. Wasn't I? 
Why doesn't it do like a little window that shows you the transaction like right up here? There's so much crap with this thing, man. Here. Oh, okay. So this is the stuff that I was buying. Pocket of painted metal chess piece. Tab magnet. All right. That means I'll sell. I kind of want to hold on to my other chess piece, but they're so heavy. Maybe I will get into a bunch of electricity battles and I'll need it. But 8.1. 9.9. It's not that big a deal. Alright, I'm going to sell this. Sell. How about some junk? Don't I have some shit to sell? Cigarettes. Blue paint. Oh yeah, this thing is... I'll tell you what, it's, this is good. I'll sell stuff that's heavy. Well, at least, like, uh, two oil. But five weight, man. That's just not worth it. Acid. Probably want to hold on to that one. Pumpkin weighs one. Plenty of plastic out there. Cloth. Don't need it. Gold watch. Got to keep it. Toothpaste. Duct tape. Military duct tape. Cigarettes. All right. Uh, accept. All right, lady. Good doing business with you. Don't eye the Brahmin if you got any sense. I like eyeing the Brahmin. Brown eyeing him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still got it. All right, let's get dressed. Um, champion left arm. Fault 81. Jumpsuit. Sunglasses for perception. Pocketed painted metal. Chest piece. This is actually going to make me look different, I think. Whoa. It's kind of crazy. Put the guns down. Yeah. What does that look like? Like a turtle shell a little bit, but sort of like a, I guess like a knight's armor thing. Mining helmet, army helmet. Uh, pardon. Okay. So I'm holding 285. 62 damage resistance. That's pretty good. It's an improvement, I think. I think it was at 57, right? Something like that? Maybe? Who cares? Not a big deal. Oh, weapons. Okay, so I got a new knife. Let's add it. Hey, it switched it out for me automatically. That's pretty good. Um, hmm. Oh, and I bought, I bought ammo. Okay. All right. I don't know. I don't like that aesthetic, but I guess it's okay. Yes. So, yes. you know what I want to do? I want to keep traveling with this caravan because they will put up a fight. Oh, we got a radio signal I gotta listen to here. You get missions out of these radios, otherwise I'd never bother. Silver Shroud. Calling all Silver Shroud fans. I got an urgent mission. If you're a oh. true fan, Why are they stop running? by the memory den and to talk to Ken Conley. The Silver Shroud needs you. Okay. The Silver Shroud All right, shut the fuck up now. Where are you guys going? Hey, at least it's honest work. Yeah. Peeing on a wall. The only way totally you get old in this job the is cabin. assume everyone's out to kill you. You and me both, lady. Uh oh. The bad guy? No. Are you angry? Jesus, that's kind of intimidating, isn't it? Hello, Hitler. <laughs> this guy loves these walls. What's he looking for? Oh, I am right here. I want to talk to Jack. 
Alright, right, anyway, right. calm the fuck down. 21. He's obviously in here. Don't have the key. The key? What the fuck? It can't be the only way in. I'm not some young idiot anymore. I'm an old idiot. Very idiot. kept their key in a cigar box. <laughs> I've uh, never smoked a cigar. It's one of my life's biggest non-regrets. They are horrific. And anybody who smokes them is a disgusting piece of shit. No, I'm totally kidding. But they're gross. They really are gnarly. They just like, you might as well just fucking roll up a bunch of dirty old leaves and jam them up your ass. Alright, let's see what no! Great combo. Dude, I'm, I'm having a fucking conversation here. Could you give me a little privacy? I know you're a mindless robot and everything, but for God's sakes. Didn't you fucking hear me? Back the fuck off. Well, alright. Good talking to you. I told you to go away. Don't you want to buy any taffy apples? Uh oh. I told um, I'm here. I'm here to talk to Jack Cabot. Oh, it's you. Good. <laughs> Come on in. Oh, see? He was expecting me. There we go. Alright. I wonder what's going to happen. It's going to get scary. What do you think this Jack Cabot? Come on. Let's go meet the boss. Huh? What? What? Another one of these ghouls. Wow, this is beautiful inside. This is like a modern house. What is this place? Better to let Jack answer that. Come on. Alright, I'm putting on my conversation clothing. <laughs> what if you ran into a guy all dressed up like he's ready for war? And as you start talking, he just slowly just disrobes and changes, puts on a wig. Puts <laughs> on a big Elvis wig. Puts on some summer shorts. Puts on some black rim glasses. That's probably about the most normal thing you could do. Beautiful. Look at this Jack, place. The new guy is here. One moment, one moment. Hey, buddy. Whoa. He's blowing stuff up. Right with us. Oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Oh, I want to steal Welcome all these balls. I'm Jack Cabot. Hey, Jack. I'm Suck Professor. How are you? Hey, you and I have very similar hair. Hi. Uh, Edward. Edward said you needed to talk to me before he hired me? Yes. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Wait, is that the same Please. Edward? Have a seat. Oh, I guess it is. All right. Oh. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Am I supposed to answer that? He told me to sit down. I'm going to sit down as I sit. Well, pff, fuck this asshole. So let's go follow him then. Hmm? Yeah, I don't know how to answer you because I don't have any dialogue options there, pal. I'll well, come upstairs and we'll hang out. Wait, let's look at his room first. Crazy. That's how you know he's up to no good. Zeta gun. Got all these machines. All these kooky science machines. We're no, we're not done. Where'd you go? Did he walk around? 
Oh, I did come by. All right. Go ahead. Um. Hmm. Are you talking about aliens, UFOs, and little green men? No, no. That's all popular hysteria. I doubt any of it has any basis in fact. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet, the very origins of human civilization, ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. Uh, four. That's really interesting. I'm glad to hear you say that. It's become my life's work. My approach is to combine a rigorous scientific method while keeping an absolutely open mind. So much has been closed off to us simply because people assumed they already knew the answers. Dude has no My chin. father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, Ugh. disturbing even. Clearly not constructed for or by humans. But I've my spent dogs my trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. I need him to get You're that skin cream. The missing shipment. Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time. Farts are ass burps. Are it isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. All right. Congratulations. I passed the interview. Just had to listen to some rich guy talk about some old dumb bullshit. What's going on with this freaking camera? Is it following him? Look <laughs> how he walks up the stairs. What the fuck is happening right now? All right, let's just talk. What a whack job. What a whack job. Jack pays the bills. So he can believe what he wants. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric. But he's definitely not crazy. If he had the no money, he'd be crazy. Simple. Jack owns a facility. Oh, really? North of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? Hmm. For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. Oh, that's you don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parson State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. Oh, sure. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. Is he making eye contact with dog meat? Right direction. You all set uh. then? Uh, I have some questions. I have some questions. Shoot. Um, hmm. How did this package go missing? The courier got there and picked up the package just fine, but never got back here. Could be simple bad luck, or it could be a deliberate ambush. That's why I'm sending you. It's important that you recover the missing package. Are we good here? Well, I am the man for the job. Uh, what's in this missing what's package? What's this missing package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. You already had this part, Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to it's know. It's a nose. Else? I need a new nose. Why does Jack have people guarding an My last one inside? fell into my girlfriend. I don't mind you asking questions. As long as you don't mind me not answering them. If it was important to what I was asking you to do, I'd tell you. In this case... It isn't. You all set then? Three. Nothing else. Oh, I thought okay. that was a question. <laughs> They're expecting you over at Parsons. Parsons. So you'd better get going. Bullshit. I'm talking to Bobby. All right. I don't need your crap. And I'm going to snoop around for a while here first. I'd love to steal this plunger. Yeah, all right. <coughs> Uh, 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 uh. Ah, it's always nice to take a shit in a different toilet. Come on, first first person view. Huh. Oh, Jesus. Kooky looking lady there, huh? Oh, shut up, dog beat. Storage. Yes, of course, there's a basement. There's always a basement. 
I'm sure there's probably some locked rooms. Ugh. Where are these fucking asshole mannequins? Here, let's, uh... Let's give these guys a little something so they know that I was here. Up, oh, up, oh, no, no, <laughs> you silly, <laughs> come on, fuck, come here, uh, this is not the way I wanted my day to go, <laughs> there he is, get him out, he's totally stuck, dog meat, dog meat, grab the end, grab him by the hair, here, maybe this will do it. Oh shit, I didn't mean to sit down. Get up. I'm gonna accidentally steal something and then they're all gonna come after me. I'm just gonna save it real quick. Squat down. Fuck. Here it goes. How did I get him in there? Ah. Uh, almost. Move, dog meat, fucker. Finally. Okay. One. Great view. I love up ah, look he's scissoring the door. Come on, pal, save it for the save it for prom night, would ya? Oh shit. <laughs> what am I I don't even know what I'm doing to be honest. Come on, head in the hole. Ugh, how did he not move? How did he fall? Okay. All right, let's just uh, explore a little more of the basement. That was uh, a complete waste of time, and I apologize for wasting your life. Send me a bill, and I will send you a money. Aw, he's sleeping. Steal from... Of course, that's the poster. Fat man. I don't, oh, there's a nuke on it, though. And there's one there. Okay, so there's some stuff in here. I have a couple of nukes as it is. Ah, the old basement servant kitchen. I've always wanted one of these. Servants, I mean. Uh, you know, that are working constantly to fulfill my every need. Doesn't that sound nice? And they bow down. They don't look at me in the eye when I walk by. And no matter what I drop on the floor, whether it's a newspaper or a blood bug proboscis corpse or a hint, they pick it up and they're grateful to have the honor of my presence. I've always wanted that. It's always seemed nice. Hey, pal. Oh, it's you. Excuse me. Ah, you're back. Do you need something? Would you like to trade? Um... I want to hear more about his bullshit. I was intrigued by your theory about an ancient alien civilization. Actually, it was my father's theory. Now proven beyond doubt, although only to me, unfortunately. And there aren't many archaeology journals publishing these days. No, there's only about four. Proof? You have proof. Enough to satisfy me. He only made a single expedition to the Lost City. But he brought back enough to show beyond a doubt that the city he found wasn't made by or for human beings. I smell DLC. older than the earliest human civilizations. But with technology that seems to have surpassed our own. And yet, everything about it is strange. Disturbing geometry. Uh oh Tools not made for human hands. Carvings that hint at dimensions beyond our own. 
Okay, interesting. Um, what was your father's, what was your father's theory? theory? He believed that all of the earliest human civilizations shared some common parent that was unknown to history. Think of Atlantis. The myth of an advanced civilization destroyed by a cataclysm is shared by many widely separated ancient cultures. Eventually, he found what he was looking for. A lost city. Buried beneath the sands of the empty quarter of the Arabian Desert. He's talking about uh, Stargate Atlantis. He, which is a pretty good show once you get past the first four seasons. Um, lost you City. You said your father found a lost city? Yes. He spent years looking and was widely ridiculed by the so-called experts. I'm ashamed to say even I doubted him. You should but be, you end, punk. He found it. A lost city. Buried in the sands of the Rub al Khali, the empty quarter of Arabia. All right, let's ask I wanted him to ask else. you about something else. All right. What do you want to know? Um, hmm. Four. Quite a place you've got here. Amazing that it survived the war. Thank you. I try not to take it for granted. We were definitely more fortunate than most. It hasn't been easy keeping it up to pre-war standards, but we do what we can. Are we done? Well, you've got a great collection of shiny balls downstairs. What's going on at What's the insane asylum? What's going on at the insane asylum? I carry out some of my research there. That's all you need to know. Oh, you do research on people who can't... Ah, here we go. This is why I'm, I'm so charismatic. Are you ready? One. The more I know, the better I'll be at my job. Well, ah, I yes. that may be true. <laughs> my father that. is confined in Parsons. Oh. For his own safety and everyone else's, he became dangerously unstable after handling an ancient artifact he found in Arabia. Ah, I, I see. spent my life trying to figure out how to cure him. He got Was a, there anything else? He got donkey gonorrhea from an old piece of donkey shit. Three. How'd your father manage to travel to Arabia with the world blown to hell? Ah, well, that was before the war, when he was a young man. What? Let's go with four. Wow. Your father must be pretty old then. Well, yes, he is. Most people don't really grasp how long ago the war really was. One of the effects of my father's <coughs> illness was a slowing or arresting of the aging process. So, yes, he is well over 200 years old, as you suspected. His was dad is, anything else? is Benjamin Button. Um, how did I get to that? I want to get to more What's of going that. on at that old insane asylum? I carry out some of all my... All right, all right. Um, the more I know, the better I'll be at my job. Well, I suppose that may be true. My father is conf hmm? He became dangerously unstable. I've spent my life right. trying yeah. any more I'm questions. pressing the one button to hurry that up. Ah, I thought that was maybe more. Okay, I'll go. I've got to get going. All right. Thanks for the info, you rich, spoiled little bitch. Where's key? Pickpocket. Don't pickpocket. I really want to. All right, well, we got another mission to go uh, kill a bunch of people at an insane asylum. Typical Fallout, always picking on the less fortunate. Did I go down here already? Yeah, okay. All right, dog meat, let's go. Let's get out of here. We're going to go look for Bobby. Screw these people. But meanwhile, we're going to have to cancel, not cancel. <laughs> end this video right here guys thanks for finding the channel i'm so glad you're here help make sock professor the giant middling success it'll be someday like and subscribe hit us up on twitter and facebook links are in the description you're awesome i'm awesome dog meets breath stinks and this fucking guy is a piece of shit bitch i hate him bye